Joining me now, Carl Rove, former deputy chief of staff to President George W. Bush and Fox News contributor. So, Carl, this is pretty shady for these hold, two. Hold, 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 hold on one minute. Johnny, yeah. Johnny, I'll call you back <laughs> in just a minute. Don't. He better not dare, Carl. He, he said he'd give me later, and he'd, he'd, I'd give me earlier in the hour when he was in charge, and then not at 7.40, but at, <laughs> at 6.10. I, mean, I know you have an early bed night, Carl. Um, do, but do you, see, do you see this as probably one of the most traitorous things I've ever seen in politics? Two people, the VP and a governor, openly fundraising against the president while he's overseas. That's crazy. Well, look, this has probably been going on behind the scenes for a while, because, look, what, what, what are the odds, do you think, that Joe Biden is going to be the nominee of the Democratic Party in 2024? What do you think? I think this. I think zero <laughs> chance. And as a result, I think that for a long while, uh, the, the people have been sort of jockeying around. We've seen Pritzker going here and Polis talking to the governor of Colorado, talking about the governor of Illinois, talking about it, Newsom running television ads in Florida, Kamala Harris going back to Los Angeles and to, uh, and, and to Northern California a lot. I mean, she and Mrs. Getty and she and Mrs. Jobs are, are very close. They've been longtime friends and associates of hers. So I suspect a lot of this has been going on for a while because there's, look, th th it has been clear to me that Joe Biden, if, since almost the moment he walked in there, is a transitional figure as president. He is not going to be the nominee of the Democratic Party. And so they're, they're going to be out there. They can claim they're out there talking to people about the midterm elections and shoring up support for the party. But people have been maneuvering quietly behind the scenes for months, I suspect. I suspect the next lunch between the president and Kamala is going to be a little awkward. Carl, you know this better than anybody. Do the donors decide what's going to happen? Are the donors going to be the ones to say, hey, Joe, sorry, it's not going to be you next run? Well, I think the donors are going to play a role in it, and, and party bigwigs who are, who are, you know, sort of professional Pauls are going to play a lot of it. But look, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be the Biden family that's going to look at the numbers and say, you know what, the, the, we don't want Joe to go out uh, badly defeated. And we're hearing from all parts of the party, the leadership in Congress, the leadership in the states, the leadership in the unions, that, that he just doesn't have it. Take a look at it. Only 26 percent. I saw a poll. I think it was 26 percent of Democrats want him to run again. You know, this is not like five people sitting around, at, you know, at Morton's in Washington cutting a steak and, 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 and drinking cocktails and telling each other he shouldn't run. This is the vast majority of Democrats and the vast majority of Americans who look at him and say he, he just is not up to it now. And why do we think he's going to get better if we renominate him at 82? All right. So you're saying the Biden family brain trust is going to be making the decision. Hunter, Jim and. And the woman who called Hispanics tacos. All right, we will be we will be they're, waiting they're, with bated breath. They'll have to, you know, they're, they're going to have to wake up to reality at some point, and I guess they will. All right, got to get that pardon first. All right, Carl Rove, Johnny, talk to him later. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.